And welcome back everybody. Whether you are a designer or a homeowner looking to redecorate, now is your chance to learn the newest techniques and trends in faux finishes and other artistic treatments. The International Decorative Artisans League is right here in Memphis for its 24th annual convention. Absolutely. Top artisans from around the world are here. Some as far away as England and Japan. And wow. it's the first time ever, as you mentioned. What you can learn can save you a bundle of money. Helen, in fact, Helen, let's let's bring out the skirt here um, as we introduce you guys. Because can, Alex, can you hold that? For I a second? can hold that. Yes, I can. If, that. if Helen doesn't mind me holding her skirt. Yeah. I'm holding my skirt. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't this, want to get in trouble over here. This is here. Helen Morris. Look Helen, where this. are you from? I'm from England. You're from yes. England, so you're part of the international contingent, and we have Susan Mathers and Kathy Napple as well with us. This is Good Elvis. Good morning, ladies. How are on you? On your skirt. Well, Look at I could not come to Memphis without <laughs> Elvis on my skirt and the Idol Convention. I love 2009. How long did it take you to do this? And what kind of paint did you use? Fabric paint? Um, you, I would normally have used fabric paint, uh -huh. but seeing as this is just for one occasion, I used the latex paint that you would use on your wall and a stencil with four or five overlays. And my husband did this for me. How long did you it take? You've got to be kidding. No. I, I, I was busy getting ready for the convention, <laughs> so he stenciled my skirt and it took him an afternoon. You're kidding! Wow. That is so incredible. And did you say you actually use latex paint? I did. So you can't wash it? It's, uh, it's, no, it's a I few days wearing and that's it. <laughs> it's just for this occasion, but the, you, I would normally have used a fabric paint or an acrylic paint, one that you would stencil with, use on your walls, right. which you can use indoors and outdoors. Okay. And uh, and that would hold yeah, up? that would hold it up. Were amazing. you ladies blown away when you saw the skirt? Yes. You had to have been. Oh. Absolutely. <laughs> you, you have to see Especially. the back of it to really understand. Okay. You mean there's more to see here? Ellen, let's Helen, turn you around then. Around Show us you the would. back. Oh, <laughs> Helen has left the building. <laughs> I love it. I love it indeed. Your husband is a comedian on the <laughs> side yes. as well, he isn't is. he? Yes. So how did you get into this particular decorative art? I, unlike many of the, most of the people here, I'm not an artist, so I choose to do stencils because you can do artistic things okay. with a stencil being a tool right. to make an artist of someone that possibly isn't. Most of our viewers probably are not. Yeah, so and when I started, I wasn't either. And you ladies, how did you all get started with it? Were you an artist? I've been an artist all my life, and then I discovered stencils and the versatility was just beyond words. Wow. So that got me started with this organization and it's just evolved from there. Of course, this organization represents much more than just stenciling. Yes. Mm -hmm. It is oh, decorative it arts. Mm -hmm. And murals we, and right. just all right. sorts of yeah. murals, trompe l'oeil, textures, yep. and our expo offers something for everybody. It's absolutely a step beyond today's cutting edge in products and, and exhibitors. Really? We have I can imagine wonderful so. hours. Please come. So, Kathy, is this something most of us can do, or does oh, it take definitely. a lot of training? I, or I started Step years up just ago, a little bit so we can see you a little bit better. I started years ago going from taking a coloring book and really? cutting my own, and then I found Adele, and that things have evolved over the last 21 years that I've been with them. And you mentioned the tools are out there to help those of us with two left thumbs and all that that just are Absolutely. not going to be able to do it. Yes. Well, show us, give us an example of how simple this is because I'm looking at the stencil and this looks like, this is your t-shirt. This is, <laughs> this is the stencil. So you made that? I stenciled on my t-shirt and added a little bling. Oh, there's a, oh you added some bling, added all right. Added a little bling. You are right. working it over there. It looks good. Uh, one of our exhibitors donated our stencils, uh, Laser XL, and we, Helen is going to do one for us. And oh. we do have, of course, the t-shirts in white and black. Okay, I have but a basic question as you're yes, doing this, sure. Helen. How do you get that stencil to stay? Because the problem I have with stencils not being a very good mm -hmm. at this is they slide. Yes. So how, what's your trick to get, well, get it to stay? You would, depending on how complex and floppy the stencil was, you mm -hmm. could either tape it in place or I would always use a spray repositioning adhesive because just a light amount on the oh, back will press your stencil right, into place. Right. You can peel it oh, off and okay. stick it on again. Okay. And seeing as we're doing a t-shirt here, I have put a little bit of the spray repositioning adhesive onto a piece of card so that the material does not move around okay. Okay. while I'm working with it. And then the secret is that you use a very small amount of paint. As you saw, I've worked it in here from the brush 
onto the paper towel. It really is as simple as that. So that by the time it goes through the holes in the stencil, uh -huh. you don't have the paint seepage. doesn't run. There's no seepage. Oh, okay. No. Now, Helen, when it comes to colors, what do you kind of normally keep in mind for something like this? I mean, a basic white T-shirt. What do you what do you look for there? Before I did this, I asked Susan, whose T-shirt it is, what color she likes to wear. Okay. <laughs> she said, yeah, oh, just that simple. That simple. Okay. <laughs> so if it was somebody's home, I would say, what colors would you like to see? That makes sense. Wow, even we <laughs> can figure this sense. out. Yes, this, it does. This works. And do you work primarily on fabric, or do you do stencils on walls? What do you? Walls, floors, furniture. You stencil everything. Oh, just yeah. everything, yes. If I stand here too long, am I going to be stenciled? My it's horse dangerous. was. <laughs> Are you serious? Your horse was? Yes. Sorry. This is like a Get ready. <laughs> You're about to be stenciled, Mary Beth. It's a less painful <laughs> branding. It. Now, what kind of paint is best for this kind of thing? Um, an acrylic paint, I find, okay, is the best one. Uh, this one is made here in the United States. Okay. And I find that super because it it is machine washable on fabrics as well as being able to go on my walls and furniture, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. concrete patio paving, okay. and, you know, anything like that. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I reckon that is one of the best, but it depends really on what surface you want to do. There's lots of different products out there for all the various right, surfaces. Right, right. Ladies, talk to us also about the popularity of doing something like this. Has it really expanded recently or what are you seeing these days? It has expanded and I see nothing but continuation of that expansion. Our, um, our vendors, our people, our producers that are out there that are really manufacturing the products stay, as I said, one step above the cutting edge. So if we come, we'll find what is you the will, next thing out there. You Excellent. will find something. Well, we have put all the information on your screen for when you do. can come. Just come on. You don't Good. need any kind Please of reservations, come. right? Just come on I down. can't wait. Can we, we'll show this at the end of the show. Is that okay? Oh, yes. You must see right. it when it's we peel it off. It's basically okay. done. I That's can't wait to see that perfect. a little bit later. Right. Okay. Terrific. Yeah. Thank all you. Right. Thank all right, you. a short break. More Live at 9 after this commercial. Got something where we also want to show you uh, the stencils over there. Let's see what do we have. All right, Helen, you ready to reveal? Reveal it, Helen. Do your thing slowly, very slowly. Here it comes. Wow. Wow, look at that. That, does, that looks great, and it honestly does look kind of easy. It does. All Even right. you could do it, Mary Beth. Well, <laughs> yes. only if Helen was by my side. We, we need Helen. We've got to go to the, the Idol convention in right. downtown Memphis this weekend. We'll be right back in just a moment.